Welcome to Easy Elim, Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be working on Form 2 Math. And our topic for today is Similarity and Enlargement. And our focus area will be on Area Skill Factor. So previously we looked at Enlargement and also Similar Objects. So for today we are going to look at area scale factor and also its relationship with linear scale factor. So area scale factor is a ratio in the form of E is to F or E over F. This ratio describes how many times to enlarge, especially a two-dimensional figure. So area scale factor can be calculated by getting the new area, that is the image, over the original area. So take note of this, just like we were looking at the linear scale factor. So for example, if we have these two uh, images, uh, we have an object and an image. So we have um, a rectangle A, B, C, D, and rectangle A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. So you notice the A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime is an image of A, B, C, D. So if you were to look for the area scale factor, remember we said it's the new area over the original area. So let's calculate the new area. The new area is going to be the image now, which is 6 times 4, because the area for calculating a uh, rectangle is length times width, which gives us 6 times 4, which is 24. And then the original area is the area of the object. In this case, it's A, B, C, D. So it becomes 3 times 2, which gives us 6. So if you want to get the area scale factor, it will be the new area, which is 24 centimeters cubed over six centimeters cubed. Ensure that your units are always correct so that you don't miss marks. So you divide by six, one by six, you get four. So our area scale factor is four centimeters. Uh, there's no centimeters, there's four. The area scale factor has no unit. So area scale factor can also be found by squaring the linear scale factor. Remember what we said for the linear scale factor? So as long as you have one uh, length of the image and the length of the object, you can get the linear scale factor. For example, if we take A prime, D prime, you divide it by a similar line in the, in the object, which is A prime or uh, A, D. So you are going to get 6 centimeters divided by 3 centimeters, which will give you 2. So if you square 2, 2 squared is the same as 2 times 2, which will give us 4. This is similar to what we got from the previous area scale factor. So you can see the relationship between linear scale factor and area scale factor. Let's do a few questions. So a triangle whose area is 12 centimeters cubed is given an enlargement with linear scale factor 3. Find the area of the image. So we have a triangle. This triangle has an area of 12 centimeters cubed. So it is enlarged. But what we have, the area of the object we do not have but we have the linear scale factor which is three so remember the first thing we need to do is get the area scale factor and we can do so by squaring the linear scale factor so in this case it's going to be three times three which gives us nine so remember how we calculate the um, area scale factor we take the area of image or the enlarged object and then the area of the object which is going to be equals to 9. In this case we have the area of the object but we do not have the area of the image so we will give the area of the image x the area of the object will be 12 centimeters cubed is equals to 9 so you multiply by 12 both sides multiply by 12 
which will give us x is equal to 9 times 12, which gives us 108 and it is centimeters cubed. So this is the area of the image. Let's do another example. So the ratio of the area of two circles is 16 over 9. This is the same as 16 is to 9. So this tells you that this is for the image is to for the object. Because we said the upper one is for the image, the lower one is object. So what is the ratio of the ready? So for us to get the ratio of the ready, it means we need to do the square root. Because this is the same as linear scale factor, but when we get the 16 and 9, it's the same as we took the linear scale factor and then squared to get the area scale factor. And in this case, we do not have the linear scale factor, but we do have this, the area scale factor, which is 16 over 9. So for us to get the value of x, we need to do the uh, square root of both sides, which gives the value of x as square root of 16 over square root of 9. So x is equal to 4 over 3. So the ratio for the ready is going to be 4 is to 3, where 4 is the ready of the image and 3 is the ready of the object. If the larger one has a ready of 20 centimeters, find the, the radius of the smaller one. So we already have the linear scale factor, so you can do this in two ways. So when you get the linear scale factor, we shall say the uh, length of the image over length of the object, as we did in the previous uh, lesson. So this is going to be 4 over 3, which is our linear scale factor, is equal to the larger one means it's the image, so it's over 20 over x. So this is the same as 4x is equal to 2, 20 times 3, divide by 4, divide by 4, which gives us by 4, 1, by 4, 5. So 5 times 3 gives us 15 centimeters. Otherwise, you can also say the ratio 4 represents 20 centimeters ratio 3 would present what so this will give you 4 times x is equal to 20 times 3 divide by 4 divide by 4 you still get 15 centimeters i would advise you to always go back to the formula so that you do not uh, make an error don't forget to leave your answer in the correct unit finally let's do one last question the corresponding length of two photographs. So we have photographs, and we have been told their length are 20, 12 centimeters. So we have the larger one, which is 30 centimeters. The area of the large photograph is 750 centimeters cubed. Find the area scale factor. So for us to get the area scale factor, we need the linear scale factor. And then we square to get the area scale factor. So first of all, the linear scale factor, we can get it by dividing the length of the larger photograph over the length of the smaller photograph. So by 5, 6, by, by 6, 5, sorry, by 6, uh, 2, by 2, 1, by 2, 3. So let's make that correction. So that you divide by 12. So by 6, 2 by 6, 5 is not 3. It's not 6, so it is 5 over 2. So the linear scale factor, uh, the area scale factor, the linear scale factor is 5 over 2. So it is 5 over 2 squared to give us the area scale factor. So when you square this, will give us 25 over 4. So that is the area scale factor. And then you have been told to do for the area of the smaller photograph. For us to get the area scale factor, we need to look for the area of image over area of object. And in this case, the area of the image is what we have been given as 750 over the area of objects which we don't know is equals to 25 over 4 which you already know so you cross multiply 
this will give us 750 times 4 is equals to 25x. We divide by 25. We divide by 25 on both sides. So when you do 750 divided by 25, you get 30. So by 25, 1 by 25, 30. So 30 times 4 gives us 120. And remember, a centimeter is cubed. So that brings us to the end. I hope you have been able to see how to work out on the area scale factor. So check out more revision questions in the app and notes on the same so that you can be able to practice more. So see you in the next lesson.